expecting to have someone from DHS at that meeting also? I'm sorry? Are you expecting to have someone from DHS at that October 2nd meeting? I would expect at least, you know, John Seeley and whoever's still there that, that's been, you know, a player in this process there at that time because they've given testimony under oath that, you know, that CMS is the cause, both under oath and not under oath. They've, they've given testimony that a lot of the reasons for the delays and the causes of the problems are because of the requirements of CMS. If I was CMS, I'd want to be here to defend myself. If they're not here to defend themselves, there's no value in what they've said because they've chosen not to show up. And we send them as strong of a message as possible that we think they ought to be here. I mean, DHS and CMS work pretty closely together, and I'm sure that there are multiple channels of communication between the agency, between the governor's office and the federal agency. On the executive side of things, I mean, is there, has there been any attempt made to try to reach out to decision makers within federal CMS and figure out how to get this message across? I think that one thing we need to remember is that you go back to when this first started, that as legislators we were left out of the loop as far as the contracts being issued, and now we're in cleanup mode and we're in after the fact mode. So the previous administration chose to leave the legislative branch out of out of the process. So you know we're the legislative branch; we're not the administrative branch. That applies to the previous administration that chose to go about doing this the way they did, but also moving forward, if we as legislators are going to be asked to make decisions, then I think as legislators we're entitled to have people in front of us so we can hear it directly from them and not, not count on the information being channeled through DHS, because as we've heard in testimonies, uh, we have conflicting testimonies between what CMS has said and what DHS has said, and quite honestly as a legislative branch, uh, we would rather hear from the source themselves directly because we don't want history to repeat itself. And if you read those emails um, that we requested between DHS and CMS, you'll see that consistently there's a theme of problematic occurrences that repeat themselves. And we're going to be asked to make a decision about the future, the future of health care in the state of Arkansas. Uh, quite honestly, we'd rather hear it straight from, from them because of conflicting testimony in previous meetings. 